Louisiana Attorney General Jeff Landry held a press conference yesterday regarding Louisiana's share of a $26 billion national settlement involving three of the nation's largest drug distribution companies and drug maker Johnson & Johnson. AG Landry says the $325 million our state is expected to receive will be divided up among parish sheriffs and local governments to provide addiction treatment, response, and recovery services. St. Bernard's Dan Schneider from the Netflix TV series The Pharmacist was part of that press conference and is here with more. And Dan, you said yesterday we don't want this money to go to potholes. We want it to go for treatment and recovery. So the AG's office is making sure this settlement money doesn't go to Louisiana's health department and other state agencies, but straight to local agencies. So A, do you think that will happen, that this money will directly get to those who need it? I do think it actually will happen. Uh, I hope I'm not being naive. I have been naive in the past, but uh, uh, I've worked with the uh, Attorney General and with the uh, Walter Leger, and we are really pressing on getting this to where it needs to be. Uh, so uh, I'm confident in that, and uh, I'm going to be a watchdog on that. Yeah, that was one of the biggest things to come out of yesterday's uh, press conference. So that $325 million breaks down to $18 million per year for 18 years for our state. And yesterday you said this is a step in the right direction, but what's next? What's the next step? Well, that's a step in the right direction. Hopefully we also get some additional money from other sources supposed to get into that same pot and allocate it the same way. And again, 100% of it going to treatment and recovery. Uh, of course, I will say this, now we have a new development that this type of money won't help for. And uh, I want to bring that to the forefront this morning. Sure. Well, tell us about it. Okay. Well, what, what's happening nowadays is that money is going to go to treatment and recovery. And we have tons and tons of people that have developed addictions that really need treatment. But there's a new development now, okay? A new market now. Uh, they're, they're, they're going after young kids that really aren't uh, drug addicts. Uh, they really don't have, so to speak, substance use disorder. <laughs> Uh, and uh, they are trying pills that they're familiar with, uh, that maybe their parents had taken before, a relative had taken before, prescription pills that, that uh, these, these kids shouldn't really be trying, okay, but maybe they snuck one out of the medicine cabinet and it made them feel kind of good, and it really wasn't that dangerous, uh, not that I condone that. Uh, but now these pills are being bought like on the street. These kids are getting them from friends or on social media. And they're laced and all with of fentanyl now. now and they're laced with fentanyl and they're killing kids. One pill can kill, and that is a message. Yeah, we just had somebody from our community, um, from our viewing area, die a week before graduation because of that. And who knows, it could have been the first time she ever tried it, and I think she took half a pill and still died, and it's just so unfortunate. So, yeah, we really got to get the word out there. Um, last time we talked to you, you had um, something in Metairie. You, you talked about your fight and against this battle, and you were using moments to put together a video um, to use as a teaching tool for young kids in Catholic schools. Um, where are you on that? Because because that would let them know of these dangers because some of them don't have any clue that fentanyl is out there. Well, St. Tammany has put together a professional video with me doing a public service announcement concerning this fentanyl that one pill can kill. Uh, we're going to distribute that in St. Tammany schools. We're going to try to get it in St. Bernard, and we're going to offer it to the Catholic school. That, that uh, uh, a town hall that we had was out in Metairie at a church, and three parents came up there who go to Catholic schools, okay, came up there and told me their, their children died. So there are more kids out there that have died from this. Uh, not, to, not to speak of to those who have overdosed and been maybe saved by Narcan, which is a good thing, okay? Uh, but sometimes they actually get brain damage. And you know, we don't have the stats on that. We have the stats every day on COVID. We don't have the stats on how many are in the hospital, how many have overdosed, and how many are dying about this. Gosh, and you, so your fight continues, and you've been saving lives. Thank you so much for everything you've done in our community and with your Netflix show. People around the world have seen it now. So you have been fighting this opioid epidemic since the death of your son in 1999, and I, I do see that picture of Danny over your shoulder. I know yesterday was a busy day, but have you had time to reflect being right behind the attorney general at a press conference yesterday, knowing you had a hand in this huge win for America? Uh, yes, it was exciting, but I want to deliver a message right now, and okay. hope this message gets across. Okay, uh, I want the attorneys in the area and maybe the corporations in the area to step up. You know, we got Morris bought, and he's got one call. That's all. We need a message out there of one pill. That's all it takes to kill. 
Okay, and, and these attorneys could spend some of their budget, or the corporations in America could spend some of their budget to save our kids, okay? And, and, and it, it, it's ridiculous that we're not getting the attention. Uh, these kids don't even have substance use disorder. There shouldn't be the same stigma applied, and we all ought to go to work to stop this. That's a fabulous message. Dan Schneider, thank you so much for being on and everything you have done and continue to do. Thank you, Leslie. I appreciate the time.